Hello everybody once again, this is Aqua Kazoom. Welcome back to another show match. <coughs> Sorry, I was still training on my foot. Oh, welcome back to another show match. And we have Ice Lock going up against IUC. And this is another Tempest here. Previously he fought against Alvalerves and he has triumphed. So we'll see if this same Elastra can triumph against another Tempest. But right now it seems, it seems like he's gonna be pinned down. Uh, Glacier with one skin red freezing swords. That's around 18,000 damage. Look at that, the flaming spark connecting as well as IUC is caught. And Ice Lord once again grabbing that first round here. My goodness, Ice Lord proving a point at the moment. So we'll see if IOC can actually- Oh nice match arrow flinch, goes in with that split shot, bits the blink. But you can see that Ice Lord just dodges that kick shot there by moving around here. Gets the icy step placement once again, doesn't get caught by the circle shot. Using Swords counter with second kick, iframe is used well, bits the area it's gonna be a nice follow up here but gets caught by Frostwind. So Glacier Wave once again, and the Phoenix Storm off the 10,000 damage flaming spark. IOC down with 27% HP, icy step placed as well, bits the area evasion. And gets caught by a Frostwind here, but the Spider Vortex tearing through, but is it enough? But he's down to 5% HP on a shockwave, Flaming Spark takes him away, Ice Law leading 2-0 once again, taking away Tempest like flies. No offense here, but they die too quickly right now. The Frostwind to that Glacier Wave was just brilliant, and he dodged that kick shot. You can see that IUC actually tried to maneuver it behind, but you can see Ice Law just, woo, it's cool, he just walks away from it. Like he do, like he do it every day. Frostwind is good off the power blinker and once again the binding shot he used as a counter here. But a DSK off the way attack is good as Ice Lord is still caught. But look at that the flaming spark once again chalking up that 6 7.6k damage but kick shot I feel well against the freezing swords at the moment into that cyclone kick. Gets the moon kick as well. Bits the power blink here. Circle shot baited. Icy step used well once again. But IOC grabs well with that binding shot. Sorry about that, my throat is not feeling well. <coughs> because this is actually like the third match that I've, I've been casting back to back. So go check out Ice Lord against Al Loves if you have not. This is another Illustra Tempest matchup here. Because the Magic Arrow finished once again, binding shot here. But Ice Lord not baiting his bling right now, he just walks away from it, goes in with the Frosting once again, gets the slow. Spiral Kick, I've been baited. Kick shot, oh nice feeling swords dodging by IUC. He gets the booming kick stun as well. Look at that. Baiting the air vision here, not going for a DSK because he knows that Ice Lord has air vision. Chases him, catches him once again. And definitely Ice Lord in trouble right now. It's down to 47% HP. But the banning shot not quite there. Basically, the wake attack, multi shot avoided as he hits another 7.6k flame spark to the face. Avoids the frost one as well. He shot chase avoided with that two blinks. Power bling and blink here. Freezing swords avoided. He changed tremblings behind him. But nice flame spark once again to so that knockdown. 46% HP left. Gets a lucky freeze and the ignite exploding as well. Down to 23% HP once again. Ice Lord getting that lucky freeze from that glacial spike, but it's caught by DSK at the moment. Gets caught by Spire Vortex off his frost wind. As IOC is chasing a voice, the ego dive, and a nice evade off the flame spark. Bring Spot Water with that kick shot once again. And nice usage of iframes here, but IOC with that kick shot countering that freezing sword. But I would say he got lucky on that flame spark with that evade. And yep, if that flame spark actually hit IUC, it could have been a different story for round number four. But right now, it's round number five. Maroon number five. Frostwind is good from the start. It goes in. IUC didn't see it coming. Look at that, even the flame burst being used. Icy step used well here. Flame spark off the binding shot is good as well. He falls on the icy step. Bits the way attack here by Ice Lord. Blink baited. Circle shot baited. It's 24 and a nice glacial wave moment. Shot wave used. Frostwind is good. So Glacier Wave once again, so that Freezing Swords 18,000 damage doesn't get crit this time as the the ice actually broke. Icy Step used well once again, Binding Shot in the wrong direction. Gets caught by the Frostwind, but multi shot to the face on Ice Lord. Silent Gate Iron used well here, but gets caught by the Flame Spark once again. Well aimed Flame Spark on the Langdon Zone of the Tempest. Gets caught by the Spire Vortex, but look at that. Look at that, the Frostwind takes him away as IUC took too much damage here. Officially the true glass cannons here, I will say. After academics got nerfed on their Magma Wave and Poison Break, in terms of cooldowns per damage done, Elemental Lords or Illustras definitely has that one up in terms of burst damage here. Look at that, the Flame Spark 7.6k if you get both hits to hit. 
and Glacier Wave, Freezing Swords or Glacier Wave Phoenix Storm easily chops up 20,000 plus damage. But right now, Iosis is doing well, Blitz A Vision here needs to chase right now, Blitz the bling. But look at that, the Icy Step plays well once again, that's the specialty of Ice Lord. Blinks away to safety, Shockwave Avoider with the Kickshot Iframe done, doing well here by Iosis. But gets caught by Frogs in one skin, Glacier Wave this time not avoided with the Agent Secret Tumble, it's good but Flame Spark on Binding Shot gets a lucky freeze on the Glacier Spike once again and Freezing Swords. As he's down with 6% HP. Well plays Icy Step here, he's gonna blink behind it, gets, the, gets caught by the Frost Wind to shatter Avoider with that Wake Attack timing nevertheless. Flaming Spark is good, gets and bits the Agent Secret, he blinks away to safety on the Kick Shot, doesn't get caught by the Binding Shot as well. Frost Wind counter with Second Kick Iframe but he's still slowed down, Chilling Mist avoided. With that chain trampoline by his short, gets caught by a flame spark once again to the ignite. Kick shot Iron Muse well here. Booming kick effort avoided as well. As it's down to 89%, 80% HP for Ice Lord. Avoids the Eagle Typhoon, goes in with that bling into the frog swim. And you can see IOC down to 40% HP. Icy step used well, gets caught by a widow kick, air bits out of the spiral vortex here to the safety of his icy step. He backs away from the kick shot, goes in with the frog swim after the kick shot is baited. But the spirit shot is good as well. Flame spark, 1% HP could be killed by the burn damage, but it's the short wave that takes IOC away 4-2. To Ice Lord right now. Nerve wracking play right now, as you can see Kaden saying that his first show match was really nerve wracking, but he did well against Ice Lord. So if you have not watched that one, go watch it as well. But I see here, we'll see if we can pull off a comeback. So far, we've seen that he's playing decently. Base the power blink gets caught by a flaming spell off his binding shot once again. Nice eager dive here, but you can see Ice Lord baited away attack here. No booming kick from IEC on the big attack. Tumbles away, you can see his blink baited on that glacial spike where he can just walk away from it. But kick shot once again used well. Gets caught by Frost Wind, bits his own energy to shoot the spiral kick to, to mount his shot, but the spiral vortex effort here not quite there. Eager dive is good. Circle shot, wall bounce, bits the air evasion, cycle kick trades, gets caught by Frost Wind instead, but the spawn is enough here. As Ice Lord is in trouble, gets caught by the Willow Kick to 1 air pounds and the kick shot. No Ear Sun here for IUC. Ear Sun is actually 1, 2, 3 guys in Chinese. So IUC grabs 1 here. I'm not too sure if actually if I pronounce his name correctly because I see I A U C. So IUC. <laughs> Hopefully it's right. Frost is good off the twin shot. Let's get a knockdown here. As he step well, well placed once again. Cancels the binding shot. But he gets caught by Eagle Dive. Nice circle shot wall bounce to booming kick here. The spiral vortex, nice damage combo here. Spiral look at that. Spiral kick to Sion kick here. To get a relief. It seems like Ice Lord's gonna take it away. Take it away here. 4 to 4 right now. Nice comeback by IUC. At the moment he was down 4 1 at one period. Now he's back at 4 4 in a flash. So will Ice Lord let it down? So far we've seen good stuff, usage of iframes from IOC. And Ice Lord getting caught early under the bridge at the start was not good for him definitely. His bling is baited on the magic arrow, he doesn't want to get flinched. Powering baited, the frost wind is good, but it's gonna get caught by the binding shot very soon. You can see IOC is not going in or baiting here until that frost wind slow debuff is gone, but gets caught by a nice shot with timing here, gets caught by the frost wind as well, knocked down to Glacier Wave and once again Ice Lord for you with that Phoenix Storm. Backs away from that kick shot to binding shot. Blinks away from the Eagle Dive. You can see he just baiting skills. Goes in that Frost Wind once he's ready. Look at that, even baiting the Cyclone Kick. And the Freezing Swords cancelled by the Spirit Shot. Nicely done by IOC nevertheless. Gets caught by Flaming Spark himself. Knocked down to Glacier Spike. No freeze here. Icy Step used well as a Steel Trap. And take it away here. 5 4 to Ice Lord. As we go into game 2. So what was going right for IOC was his follow-ups. What was not going right was that his skills were too easily baited. See, the thing about Tempest is, I played Tempest myself as well, you're very tempted to use all your iframe skills to dodge skills when actually your tumble is off cooldown. But you know at that panic moment, in that moment where you want skills to be very flowy and smooth, I mean, I think all players want to counterplay. But you can see the ice slot is just, woo, it's just walking away, like daily daily walk away from those iframe skills being used when they are baited with a simple skill like a glacial spike. So this is what Tempest need to do against Illustrious who are that good and calm. Just do not get your skills baited that easily. Blame Spark is good on the binding shot one skin. 
No shockwave counter against Simon Kick this time. Gets caught by a circle shot, nevertheless, but look at that. Power Blink good on the Frost Wind. Shockwave counter and Kick Shot iframe is good. But gets caught by a Flaming Spark as well. But it goes behind Ice Lock once again. Magic Arrow Finch is good. Binding Shot this time, but Ice Lock goes to the way, I believe. Gets caught by Frost Wind himself. Glitch Wave avoided with that Spiral Kick iframe is good. Kick Shot cancel with that Flame Spark here. Tumble Baiter by the Ignite avoided with that Chain Chumming iframe as well. Good iframe usage this time, but gets caught by a Freezing Swords follow up here. And you can see he's down 24% HP. Big attack baits it, spirit shot avoided, but nice kick shot I think using the flame and the frost wind. Spiral Vortex is good, you can see Isla down 11% HP, gets caught by multi shot to the face, 10% right now, he goes in with the frost wind, IUC with 30%, shot wave cancelling, the eagle dive is good as well. That's his own way to attack his baits, freezing swords avoided, that chain trampoline goes away, chases a kick shot, look at that, walking away once again, frost wind avoided, circle shot this time. Binding shot is good on the wake attack, he blinks away with that power blink, chilling miss on the landing zone, avoided with that spiral kick iframe, silent kick iframe used as well. Kick shot Baiter, you can see he's Baiter again. Frost win. Glitch wave avoided, but Eagle Dive nevertheless takes him away. But you can see IOC at 8% HP left. It was extremely close. But IOC coming up tops nevertheless. And you can see Ice Lord trying his very best here. But IOC definitely trying his best as well. Just chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing, and he finally found that killing blow here. We'll see if he can actually maintain this for another 4 winning rounds to bring in the game 3. Magic Arrow is once again very well placed by IOC. Frost with his slow, Willow Kick cancel, Urgency Trick baited I believe. Kick shot once, game baited as well. I see that used well, you can see he catches that circle shot here and prevents IOC from continuing his combos. Gets caught by Frost himself, gets lucky if it, shot wave is good. So that flame spark, so that freezing swords, 11,000 freezing swords here as he needs to be careful of that glacial wave right now. On the shot of Vodder, gets caught by Frost Wind on his bounty shot, Glitch Wave for Vodder is good, but that Spirit Shot baits it, he blinks away from the second kick to safety. Icy Step used well, nice kick shot here, but you can see Ice Lord going behind that Icy Step here, you can see one tick of the Icy Step on him, and that Frost Wind here, to the Poison Spray, baits the air evasion, and actually miss cancel here, multi shot, body shot to the face from behind, it's good, DSK, but is it enough here as he blinks away the safety, gets caught by Frost Wind, 1% right now, and that Freezing Swords from Ice Lord takes him away once again. Good job by Ice Lord once again. As I mentioned, the word once again is the third time. This is the problem, you know when they say never say never, and I'll never say never again and the loop goes on, so <laughs> anybody watch Brian Higa or Liga Higa? Love that that parody that he did. Oh nice kick shot to here, five arrows to the face, you can see Ice Lord already down to 74 percent HP. I step used well once again as a counter against Circle Shot, but Eagle Dive continuation from IUC is good. It's chasing right now. Based area region is to see if you can catch. Gets caught by Frost Wind himself instead. Glitch Wave avoided with nice adjustment trick timing, but nice shockwave timing here to that Flame Spark. And everything swats here, chalking up the 12,000 damage. As IOC down to 48% HP. Gets caught by Frost Wind once again. Let's get a knockdown as the Evade was there for him. He gets lucky, but gets caught by Frost Wind. I mean, Flame Spark, but no, the Spiral Kick used well, but once again, you can see the Icy Step usage. Signature movement by Ice Lord against the Tempest here. Flame Spark avoided with that Kick Shot iframe is good. This air evasion, binding shot avoided. Chilling miss used, but Spiral Vortex here as a counter with the Spiral Kick, iframe and entrance takes him away. Intensifying here in this game too, as IOC is trying to stage a comeback, nevertheless. And we'll see if he can pull it off. But I would say these two players are definitely, definitely showing us some good gameplays here. So you can see that IOC is not really getting his skills better that easily. Based the power bling off Ice Lord himself, Icy Step well used once again. Gets caught, you can see he stops the iframe skills of the Tempers in their tracks. Gets caught by Eagle Dive nevertheless, we attack baited. Air Vision baited as well, Ice Lord is definitely in trouble here, his Air Visions and power bling counters. No, the power bling is in time here, it's off cooldown. And the Icy Step once again used, makes the kick shot, Flame Spark avoided. Gets chased by a spiral kick, binding shot not there, Fizzing Swords avoided by IOC as well. Gets by Frost Wind, kick shots away to safety. Shatter dodge with that tumble, spin shot bits the blink here, the flame spark not quite good for Ice Lord right now. Chilling miss counter with second kick iframe, but it takes some damage there as the iframe is only the first three kicks, I believe. Fizzing Swords counter with kick shot iframe is good, but gets by flame spark continuation. Ice Step once again use safety. Forces a tumble with that freezing field, look at that. After beating the blink, goes in with that frost winning glacial wave, and it's gonna be a turnaround here right now. No, nope, it's 25% HP left for IOC. As Ignite is dodged with that spiral kick iframe off the tumble, goes in with frost wind, he's down 80% HP, freezing swords, dodge with that tumble, binding shot avoided as well. It's gonna be close. 
eggs, five vault eggs. Oh, good chasing skills by IOC at the moment as Isla was out of bling options. His own bling was baited off that DSK, and then IOC goes in. He knows that the bling was just barely a split second off cooldown, but takes him away with that spire vault eggs. Three one to IOC right now in game number two. Frostwind is good once again from Ice Lord. Even the building stuff being used, gets caught by Kickshot, it's probably used, goes in with the Flame Spark here, it's good, doesn't get a knockdown nevertheless. So good shot, nicely done to Binding Shot here, bits the A vision. The Blink is premature, he gets baited, but look at that, nice shot if against the Cyclone Kick as a counter. And as a Lestra, you're gonna fight a shoeless Elemental, I mean, to fight without your shoes, Shockwave is definitely something dangerous to know. Frostwind is good, this Glitch Wave cancelled there with the Spire Vortex here. He's being chased, Eagle Dive baited. Blinks away to safety. Icy step used, but kick try from used well here. That's the force to connect. Green Swords is good, change something baited. Cancels the binding shot here, kick shot the chase not quite there. Ice Lord backs away, chilling missiles use preemptively and defensively here, but I obviously didn't bite the bait, but it's down to 6% HP. Once again getting caught by the frost wind and a knockdown to glacier wave. Oh it's gonna be a take away! No 4% HP here! As Ice Lord needs to buy time for the burn damage. It's caught! Gets caught by the frost wind once again off his air evasion. As Ice Lord grabs another round, back to 2 for him, but still 3 for IUC. So you can see that Ice Lord is actually a very different playstyle for Elemental Lord. Most Elemental Lords that are decent usually try to do that Frost Wind to knock down, but you can see that Ice Lord is not interested in knockdowns at the moment. So he gets the Frost Wind, doesn't go for the knockdown. He wants the slow to be on the Tempest, which is why I think actually why Elders actually has the trouble for him. It's not the very standard play style. Ice step used well, but this time it's too far away to prevent that Circle Shock counter. Shockwave counter with Cyclone Kick iframe this time, so the Shockwave was used too soon. Spirit Shot Flinch to Eagle Dive is good for IOC. He's waiting for the weak attack with the Booming Kick. No, it doesn't get a Booming Kick. Mountain Shot Flinch not quite there. Gets caught by Frostwind himself, but the Glitch Wave cancelled here as Ice Lord backed away. Flame Spark is good once again on the Binding Shot. Look at that. Blinking away from the Binding Shot to the side. And nice reading source continuation here. Lands the icy step, goes into that frost when he knew that he had advantage. Poison spirit not quite there as the freezing fuse is not there for Ice Lord as the poison spirit was not there. 12% HP left for IOC, 42% HP left for Ice Lord right now. He blinks away, gets away by binding shot of DSK, is in trouble right now. A region beta, he blinks away to safety. Chilling miss is used well, but look at that kick shot item used well to cancel it. As IOC is doing well to chase and takes it away with that 12% HP comeback. Sorry if the screen was all over the place just now as the camera angle was pretty bad. I was trying to make it better, but things were happening too fast. My apologies. But Ice Lord could be letting his guard down this time, game number two. As once again, as mentioned in Ice Lord against Owl Loves, it's actually hard for Elemental Lord to fight as because it's actually one of your worst matchups here. We can see IOC waiting for the Frost Wind, slow debuff to be over first. Gets the binding shot of DSK. All blinks away from the Spark Vortex is good from Ice Slot. Gets by Mountain Shot to the face. One side K, based the way attack. Booming K on the way attack. It's a volley of the blink. It gets by Frost Wing. Glacier for volley of the second K iframe is used well. Freezing Swallow is not dragged behind at the moment. Blooming Spark of the kick shot. IOC chasing. He wants this win. He wants the game tree here. But he has 75% HP. Icy Step used well, but nicely used off that Shane Chaplin to Spirit Shot to Eagle Dive here. For IOC is chasing, he knows he has the advantage, gets caught by a frost wing, gets a lucky evade here, short wave not quite there as well. As he tumbles to safety, gets caught by a crit on the freezing swords. Once again, Chilling Miss cancels 8% HP left for Ice Lord, gets caught by a frost wing, needs to be a comeback here. Doesn't get caught by a binding shot, he does 0%. Oh, and the shots took him away. 5 2 to so IOC in game 2 as you go into game number 3. Seems like we're stuck at the loading screen at the moment. Nope. So I think IUC got the hang of Ice Lord's gameplay style. You can see he's waiting for that Frost Wind. Slow debuff to end first before he commits. The other thing you have noticed is the Icy Step. He's no longer charging into the Icy Step. He's trying to make his way around it. And he's getting caught by Frost Wind right now. Binding shot, 
is used. Fate's the power blink, nevertheless. You can see the Icy Step is going around it this time. Flaming Spark of Order as well, as the accuracy of Ice Lot seems to be dropping. Nice shot with cancelling on the Spire Vortex as well. Gets a Glacier Wave and the Phoenix Storm here, 12,000 damage at the moment. But Kick Shot continuation on IOC. Gets the Binding Shot of DSK as well. Bits the Air Evasion, he blinks away, gets the Frost Wind himself. Uh, urgency Trick, the Spiral Kick here. But the Freezing Sword continuation is good. IOC down 30% HP, but Ice Lot 27% HP himself. Gets caught by a Reload Kick, could be the Air Pound here. And it goes for the Moon Kick, one side kick, two, three. And the Cycle Kick is going to be second away though. Power Blinks to safety here. Shingly Miss once again, not quite there for Ice Lord, but he gets the Frost win as IUC is taken away somehow. I don't know what happened there, I thought IUC actually had that round. But 2% actually there for Ice Lord here. Oh, that was nice 3 side kicks to that Cyclone Kick by IUC. I enjoyed that moment here in Game 3 where winner takes all in this show match. Finding shot baited, plus one for Ice Lord. Base the kick shot as well, Fizzing Swords. Oh, I also gets caught here. Just be careful the Frostwind right now. I'll bring the Frostwind. It does, it comes in. Glacier Wave of Order with that Invisible Trick of IOC himself, that's pretty short. So good plays by him, nevertheless. As the shot wave is cancelled by the kick shot. Chasers with his spiral kick. Multi shot finish not quite there. Gets caught by Frostwind himself to the knockdown of the Poison Spray. No, gets caught by the Glacier Spike Freeze. As it gets caught by 18,000 Fizzing Swords. Even that Flame Spark to his face. And he's taken away right away. 2 0 to Ice Lord here. In game 3. My goodness, that flame spark was extremely accurate there. And it was double hit, that was 7.6k. Feel free to rewind this video to go watch that again. That round was just phenomenal from Ice Lord himself. And we'll see if IOC can hold up right now. He based the power blink here, so it's plus one for him right now. Frostin dodged as well, goes in the kick shot. Based A Vision is definitely his round right now if he managed to catch Ice Lord. He gets the catch here, but it's gonna be a continuation. No, no continuation combos here. Boom kick avoid with that frost wind blink. Sorry if not cancelling the kick shot here, it goes in spiral kick and gets caught by Glacier Wave on his cycle kick, he's in trouble, takes 12,000 damage to the face, spiral vortex not quite there, Fitting Swords catching him as well, but a nice countering shot timing here for IOC, brings that game possibly back to him, the momentum is there with the DSK, gets the Willow Kick relief as well, goes for 1 air pounds to Moon Kick, spiral kick to kick shot, wall bounce, he takes it away, good round by IOC this time. To bring it back to 2-1, no ego group today. So Ice Lord making too much mistakes off the start. That was what happened there and IOC. I would say Ice Lord did try to come back there. But he took too much damage there. Gets a good frost in at the start here. Once again Binding Shot cancelled by that flames but off the blink. He gets the frost in to knock down possibly this time. Oh but he gets the evade here. Freezing Swords is good, gets the slow once again, countering shot, baited, glitch wave cancelled by that. Well plays countering shot once again, but gets quite frosty nevertheless to the knockdown here. Gets a glacial spike. And the eagle's eye attack baited nevertheless. Gets come an icy stab and poison spray. Freezing few tests through 7k damage is down to 3 percent HP the shadow. But the sparky iframe is good here, but gets quite frosty on his binding shot. He gets flinched. And the glacial spike to knock down here the flame spark. Nice round by Ice Lord once again. As I'm shout casting here. Just impressed with the skills he has right now. My, my, my goodness, I see. I'll say that the things that he needs to improve on is the Binding Shot. Both him and Elf loves very bad timing for Binding Shot here. And Binding Shot is a double-edged sword for the Tempest. It is used mostly as a counter opportunity for many classes. Gladiators use it as well, like Half Moon Slash. And you can only use it after you bait or you're sure that you'll hit. Shot is not good against Silent Kick Iframe. It's caught right now. As IOC is doing well, this round gets the boom kick, multi shot, where's the spiral kick? No, base the wheel attack here, try to go in for the air, eagle dive, gets caught by frost and slow instead. Spiral kick baited, wheel kick baited here, goes in the flame spark. Flitting swords, oh, cancel with the binding shot here. Let's go by frost wind, the glacier wave once again. And the flitting slow get 30% HP gone just like them, boom. As Ice Lord is caught right now for the kick shot, the second kick is going to be taken away, he is. The tide is turning back to IOC right now as he grabs the second round here in game number 3. But once again, one mistake, or I would say two mistakes for IOC, or two grave mistakes by IOC, and he will be taken away by Ice Lord here. Especially if it's one where he gets caught by Freezing Swords or a Glacier Wave Flight combo. But similar for Ice Lord, if he get, gets his Power Blink baited, his A Vision baited, it is over for him as well. Right now he's getting caught once again early off the start. Look at that, the Magic Arrow baits the Blink, and then the Spirit Shot is targeted at where. 
he knows that Ice Lock is blinking. Gets the Willow Kick. Oh no, relief here. Wait, attack baited. Nice good shot, but count counter if there's Flame Spark there. Shall we once again? Good timing here by Ice Lord. This time he gets the timing right. Freezing Sword is baited. Goes in the Frosty once again after the Chain Chamber is baited. Glacier Wave counter with that second iframe is good this time, but guess what? Flame Spark continuation here as the Icy Step is used. Freezing Field goes through 11,000 damage down. Freezing Field for IOC as I believe his tumble is baited. Kick shot iframe used. Guess what? Frost Wind on the entrance as his own wave attack is baited. It goes in his Brow Kick. Shilling Miss used. Counter. No, the, the Circle Shot got caught. As this is a nice flame spot once again, Ignite cancel with the kick shot here, 26% HP left, but the Frost Wind takes him away once again, Ice Lord for you. Good job here by the Lustra. But I will see. Cannot come count him out just yet. Could be staging up a comeback just like game number two. Well actually game one he was down 4-1 and then back at 4-4. And I believe Ice Lord took that first game. In the second game went 5-2 to the IOC and right now in game 3 falls 2 leading by Ice Law but if anything happened in PvP here in Dragon S. I step well plays once again. Ice Law doing well so far, gets a shot wave on the second kick, feeling so as good as well as the countering shot. Gets a gauge spike frost wind, it's gonna be in trouble, gets caught by multi shot flinch, spy is not quite there, flame spark, not casting a kick shot here. Running shot to chase by IOC not quite there, chases his spiral kick, EX. Nice good shot against the frost wind here, good timing and good thinking as well. What's the boom kick? Chasing. Frost Wind is there. Gets caught by Eagle's Eye. Power blinks away to safety. Freezing Swords here. No, both players are lagging at the moment. Shot wave counter against kick shot. Gets caught by Binding Shot to DSK. Ice Law in trouble. 2% HP. And it's taken away by the Spire Baltics once again. Do not count IOC out just yet. As he managed to chase Ice Lord to the death here in round number 7. As you can see, victory for the Tempest. And IOC is the Tempest as well. But we'll see if Ice Lord will let up another round here. He had a good Icy Step placement at the start, that was the Ice Wall for you. Missed the bling off that Magic Arrow once again. Let's go by Binding Shot, Ice Lord walks away from mid. Icy Step placement is good once again, you can see it's a defensive position that Ice Lord circles around. Sakun Kick Ice used well, but look at that, Sakun Kick counter with that Shockwave here. Glacier Wave goes through once again, this is that boom damage here. And this is what I'm going to call it, 52% HP left for IOC right now, it's not over just yet. Bits the Eagle Dive here, nice Frost Wind, please look at that, the Circle Shot was slow. So basically if you are slow as a Tempest, your mobility is half. And he gets caught by a Glitch Black Freeze, the Freezing Field test through 7.7k, and it's taken away by the Burn Damage, 5 3 to Ice Lord, in a flash, once again. And I hope you guys enjoy this show match between Ice Lord and IOC, let's draw and Tempest matchup here. Go watch Ice Lord against Kaelun and Elders if you have not. Thanks for watching once again, God bless, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Well, I just have used well here as Elders falls on his single die here. Using 21% HP. Evasion baited, be careful, force with the border as well. Base doesn't need to trade with the flame spell, doesn't get caught by the video kick here as Elders is chasing the shot by Gage Wave to finish Stomp here. As it's 12,000, which is down to 26% HP. Avian Beta is definitely in trouble, circle shot and second away by the Freezing Swords follow up here, but Ice Lord, Ice Lord grabs the first 